You do your best to keep an eye on your kids, but sometimes that still isn't good enough. And with all the stories we hear about sexual predators, you wish you could do more. Well, more may be on the way. Nine News anchor Tanya O'Rourke is on your side with a promising invention. Tanya? And Clyde and Carol, what if there was a product that could help you protect your children from being abducted? What would you be willing to spend on such a product? $50, $500, a thousand? How about 20 bucks? One local professor has dedicated his career to making this idea become reality. Tragic stories. The scenes played out on TVs around the country. Children abducted, sometimes from the front yard, maybe from inside their own house, and some never come home again. When I got the number of missing children in the country, I was just shocked by statistic. The numbers are staggering. This Department of Justice report analyzed statistics for 1999. In that year alone, 797,000 children were reported missing. That's more than double the population of Cincinnati. Kind of focus of my research always has been on some sort of a safety devices that can help uh, society. Dr. Mark Rajai is a professor of mechanical and electrical engineering at Northern Kentucky University. His work has included the development of a warning system for sleepy drivers. But seven years ago, Dr. Rajai turned his attention to the problem of missing children and what he saw as a huge void. People are protecting their animal and ca their cars, but they're not looking at protecting the most valuable things. While at East Tennessee State, Dr. Rajai worked with his students to develop a warning device that would alert parents when their children were no longer close by. How it works is simple. Your child has a small transmitter that they wear. It sends a signal to a receiver. When the signal goes beyond a range that the parent sets, an alarm goes off. The whole thing is based on a very simple microchip, as small as this. Which can fit into just about anything. Rajai says the most logical place for this technology to be integrated is as a feature on new cell phones. Parents would then buy as many transmitters as they wanted for around $20 each. With this device, parents are going to know immediately that the child is in danger and they can't stop the abduction. Dr. Rajai says that since he started work on his new invention, new applications for its use have come up, such as in nursing homes or with Alzheimer's patients. There's also some interest in a military use, providing soldiers in war zones with the tiny transmitters. In case of abduction, the transmitter can be tracked by GPS. Now, Dr. Rajai thinks this use is what gets the project necessary funding to move it onto store shelves. Hmm. Really good idea for a lot of parents that can't come soon enough. Very interesting. Well, Denny is here with Sports and Reds and